what's going on guys this is Mickey CTX and today we're gonna be doing some motherfucking bro stories that's right today we're gonna go back to my days of having my first girlfriend and uh, some mistakes that I did that maybe you could avoid doing I've given some information that she shouldn't to your mom but before I continue this commentary I will note and point out that this is not me right now playing I actually uh, was doing a live stream and I was trying to do this really amazing comeback and uh, this guy was like here camping the whole time with a shotgun and I ended up barely losing by one I call it one and a half I got robbed really I should have won this free for all but anyways back to my bro stories so it was of course my junior year in high school and I had my first girlfriend. Yeah, I was a late bloomer. Whatever, blow me. All right, so we ended up hooking up in the very beginning. And she wouldn't really come to my house much at the very beginning. So I was going to her house. And uh, she didn't live too far from me. I was just scared, really, what my mom would say. Because it was so new to me that I thought she was going to be tripping about it. And um, knowing the fanatic that my mom was at the time, of uh, she was kind of like an, a, a, more of a fanatic of a religion. I didn't know what she was going to say. So I was trying to just avoid the whole drama. And... Uh, so I was just going to her house. It was like maybe a few blocks away. So I was like, fuck it. She doesn't have to know. But the day came where she ended up finding out. She met my first girlfriend. And I will tell you, she was not very fondue about it. It wasn't her type of melting cheese in a pot. It was just, it wasn't her. And uh, my, my mom was kind of pissed off. And then well, she was kind of also, also kind of shocked that I actually brought a girl home. And uh, yeah, so it wasn't really good. One day after the, actually maybe one, it was about a few days after that, after she met my girlfriend, uh, I think me and my mom were driving around in my car, she wanted to go to the store, and I, my dumbass decided to just point out the house of my girlfriend at the time, and I was all like, hey mom, that's where she lives, so no, my mom, she just took this mental photograph, alright, I know where the fuck this bitch lives at, and uh, she knew where my girlfriend at the time lived at, and uh, that was it for that from, from then on. So one day, me and my girlfriend at the time ended up just going out. Uh, I think it was like a school party. And we stayed up kind of late. And late for me back then was 1 in the morning. And uh, I was at her house. Her mom was pretty cool about things. So we were just outside of her house just chilling. We weren't even doing anything bad. But my mom got freaked out. It was like one of the first times I really like knew. Well, she knew that I was out. Especially with a girl. And uh, <laughs> it was like one in the morning and, and my mom was just calling my cell phone and I wasn't answering. And being the mom that my mom was, she ended up waking up 1.30 in the morning on a Friday morning, really, or Saturday morning, better yet. Decided to get in her van, her, her fucking Dodge Caravan, and she was like looking for me that night. Um, she happened to remember at 1.30 in the morning where the girl that I was dating lived at. And she drove all the way out there, and it was, you know, really late. My dad was like, just forget it. You know where he's at. You know, it's like it's like he's not going to fucking die in a few, you know, a few blocks. So I started tripping out. She ended up getting in her van by herself. My dad just stayed back. It's like, ah, he's a guy. Let, let him do what he has to do. My dad was cool about it. But my mom got in the van. She drove all the way to my girlfriend's house, 1.30 in the morning. And then she, like, literally parked the car right in front of my, my, my girl, uh, the girl's house that I was dating. And uh, that show, it looked like a fucking drive through because, like, it was, like, creeping up, like, really, really fucking slow. Like, you know, like, in those movies when they're about to shoot somebody, and then the car's, like, like really slowing down, and then, ah, like, fucking, just, just fucking burns rubber and shit. Yeah, that's what she did. She basically just pulled up, like, left the fucking car door open and told me to get in the car and told me to go home. That shit was so fucking embarrassing, but, you know, being the, the man that I was back then, I told my mom, Mom, I'll be there when I be there. Dude, that was not a very good idea because I told her that rude way. When I got home, yeah, I pretty much got in really fucking trouble. I felt like a fucking kid, like all over again. Like I was grounded basically. And I imagine, you know, you're you're gonna you're gonna be like a like a senior, you know, a few months, and you're like, oh yeah, I'm a grown man, and I just got a girlfriend, I got a brand new car. Because at the time, I just bought that car, so I thought I was a badass. And I and imagine me having to tell the girl I was dating, oh yeah, my mom's making me uh, not go out because I'm fucking grounded. You know, what do you say to that? So that shit was fucking embarrassing. I learned a life lesson that guy that day, guys, and that is never give too much information that you don't want other people to know. And that was one of them right there uh, that I didn't want them to know. Uh, from that, from then on, really, I just really kept a lot of stuff secret on who I was dating from then on. So it took like a lot of like, uh, I think years, a few years for me to bring a girl back home to my house. And it wasn't because I didn't trust my mom. It was just, you know, I got used to not bringing girls to my house anymore for them to meet my mom. Like the most that they'll see my, my house is my bed. And that was about as far as they'll go. And my, my bed 
was like my bedroom basically was right in the front of the house my parents were right in the back so it was really easy for me to bring home a girl's home uh around that time but they would never meet the folks especially the girls that i really didn't want to keep around which is really fucking smart if you ask me because then attachments don't fucking build so yeah so that was my bro moment my bro story basically and it was when my mom caught me i got a lot of other times when my parents caught me i'm probably gonna start talking about those too because yeah my dad caught me uh, once doing it, and, uh, yeah, it wasn't very, uh, pleasing, and, uh, <laughs> how do you, how do you explain that to, to, to my mom when your dad catches you having sex? Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't know how your parents are, but my parents are like that, were like that. Now, you know, it's a little bit different, so hopefully you guys enjoy the story on this bro stories. Uh, like I said, this is, this is what my mom caught me. It wasn't too much of a sexual and pleasing type of encounter, but it was pretty fucking funny if you ask me. So, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button for more daily content here on this channel. And like I told you, I was really trying to catch up on this gameplay here. And um, I almost did. I lost by two. And uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Like my heart was pounding like bah, 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 like really fucking loud. So yeah. So like I said, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button for more daily content here on this channel. And of course, if you like this video, I would really, truly, greatly, super duper 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 appreciate it if you like this video. Because it helps my channel out so much. And of course... I always appreciate when you guys do that. So, of course, I can't forget the question of the day. And today's question will be, what do you watch on Netflix? Most funniest creative comments below will be featured on my next outro video. Until next time, this is yours truly, Mickey, CTX, and I'm out.